Hi, I'm Steve from the TechnoWorks store. Today I'd like to talk to you about PIRs or motion sensors to give you some ideas of the different types of motion sensors out there on the market so you can choose the right sensor for your home. There are two types of lens systems used on motion detectors. One is a Fresnel lens which uses a plastic lens to capture the information. The other type is a mirror optic lens. The mirror optic lens can give slightly sharper results. Both detectors work very, very well, but the majority of the detectors you'll find on the market or be choosing for your home will probably use the Fresnel lens technology. In PIR technology, there is uh, two, there's, there's basically three different types of detectors you'll come across. One has a single pyro. This is a sensor that picks up the, uh, the infrared energy in the room, uh, and that's called a single pyro uh, PIR. The next type of detector you'll encounter is what they call a quad detector. A quad typically has two pyro sensors, so it's picking up um, double the amount of information, and quads are much better at, at um, judging between a false alarm situation and a real alarm situation. Uh, for the majority of houses, I'd recommend to use a quad type PIR over a single type PIR. There's a third type of detector that's used in the uh, residential market, also used in the commercial market, which is dual technology. This has a single pyro, so it has infrared technology. It also has a microwave antenna array, so it uses radio wave technology. Um, quite known, classically known as a PIR um, slash microwave detector. Used as a pet detector, these are very um, successful as a detector. They can tell the difference between a small object like a cat or a dog. So you might, your installer might say to you, put in a dual technology detector as a pet friendly sensor. Um, some people are concerned about the microwave energy um, coming from the detector. It does radiate a small amount of microwave energy into the room. If you're concerned about microwave energy and the detectors, always ask your installer to choose a quad, a quad detector or a passive detector. Now that you've chosen your PIR detector, the style of detector, the mounting position is very important where you place it in the room. The detector should always be mounted in a corner looking into the room. You never mount a detector on a wall that looks at windows um, because of the, this will increase the, the risk of false alarm. So detector rule of thumb is always detectors are in a corner looking back into the room, into the area that you're trying to protect. Once you installed your system, there's some basic maintenance tips you can do with your PIR or motion sensors to make sure they um, continue to function properly over the life of the alarm system. The lens system periodically will need wiping with a damp rag. Recommend only to use a damp rag, never use any chemicals or solvents. The chemical and solvents may damage the lens system, so just a damp rag or a microfiber rag is perfect for keeping them clean. Um, you may also find to aid against um, false alarms. If you're in an area where there's lots of spiders, you may choose to spray something like a surface spray around the detector um, to keep insects away from the detector. If you're going to do this, you'll need to cover the detector with a plastic bag and then spray the surface spray. Never spray the surface spray directly on the detector or you could destroy it. After you've taken the time to research and, and pick the correct sensors for your home, they'll give you many, many years of reliable operation. For more information about alarm systems and other things from TechnoWorks, visit our website, technoworks.com.au. Thank you.